Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now in today's video, we're going to be checking out Huawei's latest laptop. This is the MateBook D16. Now these days, Huawei is really focusing on creating more and more laptops. And the reason for that is because, you know, a lot of you guys, you know, they are working from home. Some of you are working outside in different kind of workspaces. And Huawei really wants to create a laptop that is very suitable for this kind of casual, uh, you know, workers that works around everywhere. Now the whole goal of the D16 here is really to counter three main problems. So first and foremost, we do have a high performance device over here. Secondly, we are focusing on a large display. And the third point here is really about how portable this device is because it's coming in at quite a light weight. All right, so having said that, let's jump into this video and check out what the Huawei MateBook D16 is all about. Now, first things first, of course, we got to talk about the design. Now, the design of the MateBook D16 here is very similar to most of the Huawei laptops that we are seeing today. We have a very clean, minimalist kind of design here. The entire body, the whole chassis here feels like it's made of stainless steel or aluminum. It's definitely a very strong structure over here with the MateBook D16. Now, moving on to the sides, we also notice that this is quite a slim laptop. If I'm not mistaken, it's approximately 18.4 millimeters. And in terms of the weight, like I mentioned earlier on, Huawei is focusing on lightweight and portability. So this thing here comes in at just 1.7 kilograms, which again is very, very manageable. Now, moving on, let's talk a little bit about some ports that we can see all around the device. On the left of the device itself, you have two Type-C ports. You also have a HDMI port and you have that headphone jack if you want to plug in, you know, your earphones or headphones to answer those calls. Now onto those, the right, we do have two USB Type-A ports and that's pretty much what you have all around. It's quite flexible because you do get a couple of different ports here and definitely good enough for your workflow. Overall, uh, this is what you can expect of the exterior design of the Huawei MateBook D16. Now, as soon as we flip open the laptop itself, this is where we are greeted with a couple more interesting things. Now, I want to focus first and foremost on the keyboard itself because this is a very core component of the user experience. Now, in terms of the keyboard, we are having very decent travel uh, that makes it very comfortable to type on. The keyboard also features a numpad on the right corner. That means that, you know, typing numbers on the keyboard here is going to be so much easier. Above the numpad, this is where you can see that, you know, Huawei has put in four dedicated shortcut keys. And I honestly think this is very, very useful and helpful in my day-to-day -day use. So first up, you do have a calculator shortcut. You also have the AI search shortcut. And the AI search basically means you can search from anything in the laptop and the phone itself. Very cool stuff there. Now the third button here is a minimized window kind of thing or you know going back to your desktop home screen and last but not least the fourth shortcut key here is basically a camera switch and this is software power that means that if you just hit the switch you can either activate the cameras or turn off the front facing camera so you know you have those kind of privacy going on. Alright, so if you thought those were the only shortcuts, there is also one more shortcut and that sits somewhere in the middle at the top. Now this is a voice typing launcher and once you activate that, it will actually detect your voice and transfer whatever you're saying into words. So very, very convenient if you are you know, typing documents and you want to rely on just voice. Alright, so those are what you get in terms of the keyboard. Right in the middle here, you also have a fairly large trackpad that is very sensitive. Now onto the top right corner, this is where you have your fingerprint scanner, very typical of Huawei laptops these days you don't really have a key in you know pin and passcodes you just use the fingerprint scanner to unlock the laptop all right so that's just in terms of the design the build and all that overall i think it's a pretty solid device here the matebook d16 with all those kind of you know very very detailed kind of shortcut keys on board just to make your life a little bit more easier when using it all right let's talk a bit about the display because the display is the next most interesting or most important part of this laptop. Now, in terms of display, when I first take a look at it, I noticed that we have very slim bezels all around. I think we have a very high screen to body ratio over here because it's really literally filled with the display. Display-wise, we have a 16-inch uh, LCD panel and it's actually a matte display. That means that you don't have a lot of reflections going on, especially if you are in a bright environment like this. Uh, apart from that, the ratio of the display is a 16 by 10 ratio. This means that it is more tailored towards you know productivity by having a 16 by 10 aspect ratio you are able to see more of your content more of your word document in just that single display so very cool stuff there apart from that you know Huawei is also saying that they have uh, put in a TUV Rhineland certified you know low blue light 
uh, kind of thing. So this basically, you know, helps to protect your eyes, especially if you're working in the dark, you know, it will reduce the amount of blue light that is being omitted by the display itself. So cool stuff there. Overall, I'm very happy with the display here. I never had any issues. Uh, outdoors is not that bright, but of course, if you're working indoors or, you know, you won't have any issues with this display at all. All right, so now let's move on and talk about the processors because that's actually super crucial in the user experience. Now, the good news here is that, you know, Huawei is using the latest, you know, 12th gen Core H processors. Now you have options of i5 or i7, depending on your budget. If you have a higher budget, I would recommend you to just go for the i7 right away. In terms of your graphics, it's the integrated Intel, you know, Iris Xe graphics, so that's that. Now in terms of RAM, you have two options here. You either go with eight gigabytes of RAM or 16 gigabytes of RAM, depending again on your budget and specs. And in terms of internal memory, now this is where I think Huawei did a great job here. Across the entire lineup, you are getting 512 GB of you know, high-speed SSD, so you won't have to worry too much about your memory space there. Now, just in terms of performance, how did the laptop feel like? Well, obviously with the latest Intel, you know, 12th gen Core H processors, i5, i7, you're gonna expect a very good performance on the MateBook D16. Now, it's not just in terms of your work, you know, launching a lot of PowerPoints, launching a lot of, you know, Microsoft Word documents and all that. You know, heavy documents will definitely work very well on this laptop, no sweat. If you're using Chrome and you're opening a ton of different, you know, tabs for that as well, you will not have any issues there. In fact, I will go to the, to the point to say that, you know, it's actually good enough for some light gaming. So, you know, typically when I work, I also play a couple of games. So I've installed, you know, a Serious Sam, I've installed Forza 5, and I noticed that the game itself ran pretty smoothly on the MateBook D16. So this is not just a laptop for work, but it is also good for a little bit of play when you need them. All right, so having said so, just in terms of performance, you don't need to worry about that. This is a very high performance laptop and you won't have any issues with that. Now, another point that I should also highlight here is that the laptop itself comes with, you know, what Huawei is calling the Metaline antenna. And this is basically good for, you know, increasing, not to say increasing, but having better connectivity speed. So just comparing my MateBook D16 with a Surface laptop side by side, I noticed that the Wi-Fi download speeds were a little bit faster on the Huawei MateBook D16. So just to point that out, you will be getting more stable and faster connectivity on the MateBook D16. All right, now let's move on to the next point and talk a little bit about the other features that you have on this laptop, which is actually very cool. Now, first things first, I want to talk about that webcam that's in the middle. Now, we don't really cover webcams a lot on laptops, so what we have here is a 1080p AI camera. And you know, Huawei has actually built in a couple of very interesting software that allows it to follow where you are. So that's the first thing that you have there. It doesn't matter if you're using Teams or you're using Zoom, you can actually, you know, set the camera to follow you and always make sure you are in the middle. So I think that's really cool about the MateBook D16. The second thing that you have here is of course those, you know, backgrounds. So you can actually set your own background natively from the laptop's camera app itself. Last but not least, Huawei is also having this kind of AI noise reduction going on. So if assuming you are in a video call or in a voice call, for example, you know, your voice will sound more clearer compared to, you know, other laptops because of that feature on board. Now, last but not least, the Huawei MateBook D16 also comes with that PC manager, and that means you can connect your, you know, the laptop itself to your phone. So for instance, I do have my Huawei P50 Pro over here. You know, transferring files across the phone towards the laptop is a super easy process. One tap and you can actually transfer files right away. Uh, I think I've did a, a full video on how the entire Huawei ecosystem works, and I'm gonna put a link down below so you can check that out if you wanna find out more. But essentially, you can connect your phone, your tablet, you can connect your Bluetooth speaker, you can also connect a printer and they all work super seamlessly across all these Huawei devices. All right guys, uh, battery life wise, I think we have a 60 watt hour battery on board. It also supports 65 watt fast charge so you should get the laptop charged up pretty quickly. But yeah, that's essentially what you can expect with the Huawei MateBook D16. All right guys, so at the end of the day, all I can say is that I'm very happy to see that Huawei is releasing these kind of laptops more and more into the market today so that users like ourselves have more choices when it comes to choosing something for our workflow. Uh, the pricing for the Huawei MateBook D16 starts from RM3699 and it goes all the way up to RM4799 depending on the spec sheet that you choose. Uh, again, if you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, don't forget to drop a like and sub to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Thank you for watching all the way till the end and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, everybody. Bye.